Welcome to January 2024 at Builders with God Ministry. This month is dedicated to prayer and preparation and our theme is gaining strength for the long stretch. Come alongside our community of kingdom laborers as we press into the Holy Spirit on this journey of building capacity for all that is to come. Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Anthony Odinakachi. In line with the BWGM January Prayer Month 2024, with the team Gaining Strength for the Long Stretch, I will be sharing with us the topic which I titled Living Intentionally Against Health Attacks. In the world where the medical systems have been compromised, there are cases of kidnappers working for medical practitioners for the purpose of harvesting human organs. Recently, I heard of a case of a woman who went to hospital for high knee operation and ended up losing one of her kidneys without her consent, only to discover after six months. On the other hand, the medical systems in the times we are is prone to manipulations by the New World Order. The COVID experience and, and its saga is still fresh in our memories and is going to get worse. At the same time, medical bills are too exorbitant for both the rich and the poor. Is this the kind of medical system that you are going to put your confidence in? How long are we going to surrender our bodies to medical practitioners or systems that cannot be trusted? Am I saying that we should not use the medical systems? Not at all. And what I'm saying is that the time has come for us as children of God to totally trust God for good health and healing. He wants us to have good health. He equally made provision for our healing if we get sick. 3 John 1-2 NIV says, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting well, getting along well. Psalm 105 verse 37, NLT, But he brought his people safely out of Egypt, loaded with silver and gold. There were no sick or feeble people among them. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5, New King James says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Every sickness you can think of was included in the beating that Jesus received. He took care of all sicknesses for you. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11 NLT says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, and just as he raised Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal body by this same Spirit living within you. Sickness is not expected to drive in the body where the Spirit of God is living. God has made provision for both divine health and divine healing. These are part of salvation package which we are expected to enjoy as children of God. How much you are going to enjoy depends on how much your faith can carry. There are certain things that you need to do to stay healthy while gaining strength for the long stretch. So let me quickly share them. Number one, demand and enforce divine health and divine healing into your, your mortal body. Number two, labor to enter into God's rest. This is a battle that we must all win going forward. Number three, rest and exercise your body. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, 8 said that physical exercise profits but a little. So there is profiting in resting and exercising your body. Number four, walking in the supernatural. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17 says that the just shall live by faith. So walking in the supernatural helps in building your personal faith for divine health and divine healing. Number five, living by the word of God. You need to believe the word of God literally. This is not the time to rationalize the word of God. The number six, meditating and speaking the word of God on healing and divine health to our bodies. So you need to meditate and speak the word of God address the issue of healing to your body. Then finally, overcome the fear of death. You need to know that a child of God does not die, but sleeps. Temporary, temporary separation from from this earth, which is called death, is actually a fast track route to be with the Lord. If you know this, the devil will not harass you with sickness or fear of death anymore. Let's pray this prayer point before I round up. Number one, 
I receive grace to stand up for my right and enforce the good health which Christ has given to me in the name of Jesus. Number two, I receive grace to labor to enter into God's rest for my health so that I can totally trust in what God is doing concerning my health in Jesus' name. The number three, I receive the boldness and courage to step out and start walking in the supernatural in the name of Jesus. The number four, I receive the grace and the technology that is needed for me to continually feed and meditate on the ways of God that address the issue of good health in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and remember Sabbath. Thank you for joining in on today's episode of this podcast. Join us again, same time, same place tomorrow for another insightful episode. God bless you.